What's up guys, UK General 97 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys, as promised, a tutorial on how to set up the Roxio for the PlayStation 3. It also works, this also works for Xbox 360, but I've only got a PS3, so that's how it is. Okay, first of all, let's just look at what you get in the box. You get the Roxio game cap, obviously, pretty easy to set up, but there's not much to talk about there just yet. Okay, you also get one set of video component cables. Uh, this comes in the box, you've got one end that is green, red and blue, The other, same for the other end. You also get your um, RCA audio cables, one set, uh, red and white and red and white on the other end. And you get your um, Roxio USB, funky USB on one end, normal USB on the other end. Okay, uh, other stuff you get, you get the CD which is very important, do not lose it. In fact, it's quite hard to find in the boxes behind, like, the flap. <laughs> when i done my unboxing, I couldn't find it and I forgot about it. So, yeah, um, I found it in the end. It took me about five minutes. But, yeah, anyways, um, you get that in the box and it comes with all the necessary software and the drivers that you'll need. So you need to hold on to that, definitely. And you also get this set of instructions, which you won't be needing because you've got yours truly to do that for you. That was a really rubbish throw. But, okay. So what you want to do first is you just want to get your CD, install all the stuff, put it in the disc tray of your laptop. When you're done with that, you're gonna oops, wrong way. Just gonna you'll probably get you should get something like that once all the drivers are installed. It says Roxio Game Capture in case you can't see, it is like a red button with a grey square. And yeah, that's how base that's pretty that's the hardest part I'd say. But it's really easy anyway, it just takes like it's like time consuming a little. So anyways, let's get started with setting it up. First of all, you've got your Roxio game cap, and what you want to do first is what I didn't mention before, because it is a different kind of thing. You do not get this cable in the box. This is a necessary thing if you want to get your Roxio working properly. It is a PS3 component cable, and you can get it for like six pounds off of Amazon Play, pretty much anywhere. You can get it off the Roxio website. I'm not sure if it might be cheaper, but anyway. So yeah, that was like six pound for me. Well, that's like nine dollars or something. So yeah, anyways, what you're gonna want to do with this cable is bring your Roxio over, and what your cable should have is this, like, two of the wires, there's five wires, two of them should be taped together, and the ones that are taped together should be white and red. With these, you want to get on the bottom, so you've got the text facing the right way, the ones just below it. You want to put it in the red slot and the white slot. The ones on the far right, it's pretty easy, because they're, like, separated from the rest, just like the wires. Then you want to get these ones and put them in via colour, just into the other slots really really nice and easy in fact this has got to be one of the easiest capture cards i've ever had to set up it's really really good highly recommend it so anyway once you've got those all set in you want to get the other end of that uh, com uh component cable and plug it into the back of your ps3 i'm just gonna turn around the ps3 and um it basically just goes in the back in between the hdmi and the power cable is pretty easy to find you don't really need much um much of a tutorial on that part i'm sure okay once that's done you're gonna oh by the way guys you want to have your ps3 turned off all throughout this process just um it's just better for the ps3 okay then you're gonna want to get uh your comp uh, video component cable nice there and oops notch my camera there we go let's get it there it's too many wires okay and you want to get one half, oops, one half of those wires. Don't get them mixed up in like different. They're nice and easily separated there. Don't get them mixed up, otherwise it will not work. So you want to get one end and basically plug it in a bit like the, basically this cable, these two cables, the this one and the LC cable is like a component cable but separated into two cables. You want to get this one and put it in one of the three um, cables. You're going to put on the right hand side. Nice and easy. And then you want to get your other cable, your RCA audio cable, and plug it in nice and easily, red and white. Bam! Nice and easy, right? And then you want to get the other ends of those cables, so uh, RCA ones and video component cables. And you're going to want to put these into the back of your TV. I'm not sure how the lighting on this part of the video is going to go, but we shall try. I'm just going to like, prop up this tripod. Okay, I'm just going to unplug these quickly, just so you can see. There we go. Okay, here, on the left, you have 
the where the RCA audio cables go and that is where your video component cables go so I'm just going to plug these in so here we have the video component cable and what is that? that is green it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting but green blue sorry if my voice is really loud I'm kind of close to the camera <laughs> and red and you want to get your oops um, RCA audio cables and plug those in by colour so I'm just going to quickly plug back in my Turtle Beach cable yeah, this is not related to the setup just keep the wires neat sorry about this guys that was not related to the video at all that was just plugging in back in my Turtle Beach cables so yeah once you it should look a little, well, you can't really see because it's really dark, but you have five wires all like within the same area. Okay, guys, so now you're nearly done. All you've got to do now is there's the Roxio. That's what the Roxio should look like. It looks like, I don't know, something from the Matrix. It's freaking awesome. And you're just going to turn that around so it's facing. Oops. Alright, it doesn't have to be turned around, but um, let's move my camera around there. And you have this USB input slot. You want to get your USB cable that you get with the Roxio. And you want to get the funky looking end and plug it into your Roxio. Uh, just like that. And then you want to get the other end and oops, this will go into your laptop. Oh, wrong way. Sorry guys. Oops. Oh my god, I'm rubbish. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so that's what your Roxio should look like. Oh, wrong way around. Yeah, uh, looks pretty hardcore. So yeah, put that to one side for now. And the first time that you plug in your Roxio, it will install a bunch of drivers down in the bottom right. But that takes like 20 seconds. Then what, now basically you've got everything set up, so you're going to want to turn on your PS3. Just grab my controller there. And as that's loading up, I'm just gonna oops, point that tool. I don't need to point it out. Just do it. Okay, your TV, will, your PS3 will come on. And what you're gonna need to do is waiting, waiting. You need to scroll up to settings, head down to display settings video output settings the top one then you're going to want to go on component d terminal which is the second one down and click on that then press change then your screen will go blank so you have 30 seconds just to switch to uh i think this is on av oops did i just press hdmi nope it's all good that's av4 and then you're going to press yes and what you want to do is tick every box 576p, 720p, 1080i, but you'd want to leave 1080p blank because the Roxio doesn't capture in 1080p, it only capture, goes up to 1080i. But it's not really much difference, it's pretty good anyways. And then you'll press OK and then yes and enter. Then you want to set out audio output settings and scroll down to the bottom of choose audio input connector slash scar slash AV multi. Nice and easy and press X. Then that should be done. Your quality won't be quite as good as usual, but it's not far off. It'll just be a little blurry. Then you are very, very nearly done. I'm going to go over to your laptop. Uh, there's my mouse. Double, double click, click. And you want to click on Roxio Game Capture. Sorry if my laptop's a little slow, but it should have sped up a little bit by now. Down here, you've just got some nice tutorials. Edit and share, that's where you'll edit your videos that you've captured. And up here you want to press capture. So capture. That will just take a little, like say, 10 seconds to load up. Now the first time I've done this I had a little problem. Uh, the preview box was really glitchy, but that was because I was recording in PAL-B. Whereas I should have been recording in, I think it's NTCS or something, I don't know. But there's NTCS I'll call it, and there's set cam. And there's PAL-B. PAL-B is for America, I think, or the USA. And um, uh, NTCH, or whatever it is, is for the UK. Setcam is for 
any other place, I think, I believe. So anyways, this is loading up, taking a little while. It's just because of my laptop, it's not the soft. If you've got a good laptop, it will be really, really quick. Uh, loading. Loading. Still loading. Okay, this is getting frickin' ridiculous. It's still loading. Wee, feel free to skip the video. Because <laughs> it is just loading. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that took ages. Okay, it doesn't normally take that long. Oops, what's going on? What's going on? It's okay, because it's still loading. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, and what you'll see here is your preview box, which if you've done everything correctly, it should basically just show what you've got on your TV in that little preview box. And whatever you do on your PS3, it will um, replicate on the preview box. And also, you should put up the volume on your laptop just to make sure it will be recording audio. Status, it says ready. I uh, don't know if you can see, but that says ready. Uh, settings. This is a little disappointment with the Roxio. You only get... Oops. You only get... Let's go back to AVI. You only get AVI, uh, WMV, AVI, WMV, and DivX. I use AVI. Because uh, AVI is just perfect, that's what I use anyway, but yeah. And uh, what for me, right, this preview box was really glitchy, so I, I didn't know what to do. So I went over to Tools, Options. And then as I was saying before, you go on to, I think it's, oh yeah, TV Standard. And NTSC. I went on NTSC M because I'm in the UK, that's the top one. All of these are PAL B, PAL, you want to go on PAL B if you're in America. And then we have a country, it's set cam, which is down here. Uh, okay, so that's pretty easy. And then when you're ready to capture, just press capture. Down here you have your time elapsed. You have your file size created, which is a really cool feature. You have record time left. And you have space left on drive. So, guys. That, so, yeah, and once you have recorded, that will go straight into your save file folder. And the quality of this is really good. I will link in a quality test when it's finished. But until then, um, that has been UK Drummer 97, and thank you guys very, very, very much for watching. Hope it helped.